I don't have any ill will. I just do not want to uh, associate with him or have anything to do with him. Yeah. Well, Margaret, Lexi, March Sr., thank you so much for coming by and bringing a little soiree with you. I'm so excited about this. Oh, we are so excited to be here and soiree with you, Christine. Yeah. So tell me all about soiree and this beautiful setup that you have. I love this. Oh, my God. Well, you know, we create soiree because, you know, I'm on a show where people do drink okay. and I never drank mm -hmm. uh, growing up with a little cocktail queen herself. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I always chose not to drink. So I was like, I have to create something that everybody feels part of the party sure. and that people can party together. Mm -hmm. So since I'm a mocktail queen, Lexi's also the cocktail queen. Just a little. Yeah. So this is a great beverage that's, you know, multi-layered flavors that you can also spike only 45 calories. It, it brings the party, means the party, lightly sparkling. Mm -hmm. No one wants to be too gassy. <laughs> and, and they and they taste great. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Do you feel thank the you. best that you've ever looked? I feel the best, yeah. um, you know, uh, that I've ever felt in a very long time. Yeah. I'll say that. I've worked on my health. Yeah. Uh, I'm on hormone replacement. I'm on peptides. Yes, have, have I, I've taken semaglutide. After menopause, it was very hard to lose yeah. weight. Uh, I am back to the weight I was when I got married the first time. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it was really about a journey of being healthy. I know that you said you opened up about, um, you know, the peptides and the hormones and things like that. I think back in April, you said you lost 22 pounds. Yes. Have you lost more than that? Or no, you no I'm, I'm maintaining it the maintaining. 22 pounds. I don't want to be any thinner because I don't want to have to get another face left. Because <laughs> then, then my face is going to fall and my doctor's going to be like, Marge, what are you doing? <laughs> You're the best. I love you so Thank much. You. <laughs> have you gotten anything else done? No, no, I haven't gotten yeah. anything else. Do I need anything else? No, oh, should, should, do you think I should get anything else? No way. I just feel like at this point, I just want to stay healthy, yeah. maintain. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the best thing. You've been on the show for so many years now. Do you approach the show differently now than you did in the past? You know, my first year, I, I didn't think it was real. Sure. I thought, mm -hmm. oh my God, this has to be scripted, which it is not. Yeah. I go into every season just being myself. Mm -hmm. My authentic emotions. I talk the talk. I walk the walk. Um, I wish everybody else did that. Mm -hmm. I don't feel they do. And I think that's very frustrating for me. Mm -hmm. So I go into the season being frustrated sometimes. Right, <laughs> but yeah. Besides that, mm -hmm. I go in myself every year the yeah. same way. Yeah. How do you feel about both being on the show too? It's very funny. Sometimes yeah. I get a lot of um, hate and comments, you know, like you're so thirsty. You want to be on the show. I just show up to my life and mm -hmm. here it is. This yeah. is my life. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy it. We have a great time. We actually have the best crew yeah. and we've made some really amazing friends from it. So yes. it's an amazing experience to share. The mm -hmm. opportunities are great. Yes. Yeah. I actually have fun with it because I've been able to meet so many. Like Lexi says, the crew is amazing. I love them. I really do. They're mm -hmm. wonderful. And, uh, uh, you know, sometimes I get bad uh, comments but those i ignore but most of the people really find me entertaining <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get a lot of love yes, yes i do love. i get a lot of love a lot so of love. i am very happy who are your favorite housewives to film with and besides my daughter of course i i actually love dolores and yeah, melissa yeah. Mm -hmm. those two. yes very much and i love melissa's mom Melissa's mother and my mother are very close. Yes, yeah, so we are. Cute. Very cute. Very close friends. Yeah, and Melissa and Dolores obviously are amazing, mm -hmm. but also Rachel Fuda because we have little kids, so it's okay. cute. The kids go to each other's birthdays, yeah. so it's really nice. We have, like, a great, like, circle of supportive, amazing women around us. Yeah. We're very lucky. That's so yes. How about you? Can I ask you that question? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> changes every season. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Melissa, yeah. you know, is one of my closest. Dolores, mm -hmm. I, I love being with her. Rachel Fuda. You know, it, we're just all very close. Jen Fessler. Oh, yeah. oh, I love Jen. She's such a great addition. You know, Jen Fessler is amazing. Those mm. are the people who I'm just so bonded to. Yeah. I want to ask you, you didn't mention Jackie. Um, you know, Jackie, you, you know, I love Jackie. Yeah. I do love Jackie. Mm -hmm. And um, her book just came out. Yeah, it's doing, I read it. It's, it, it's, it's powerful. It is. Mm -hmm. um, I'm grateful. She says so many amazing things about me yeah. in the book. And, and we, we are bonded and we have a bond. Um, for whatever reason, I, 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 um, it's not the same right now, but I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be. Yeah. We came off the last reunion. Last season was rough to say oh. the least. Oh. <laughs> to say the least. Were you happy that there was a little bit more of a break in between reunion and picking back thrilled. up? Yeah. I was thrilled. I think we all needed a separation yeah. from each other. Mm -hmm. I think the break was very much needed. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. some people are like, oh my God, we're on a break. And I was like, oh, thank the Lord, we're on a break. <laughs> right. You really, did you feel 
refreshed going into the season yes, then? I did. Yeah. I did feel refreshed. Mm-hmm. I felt very refreshed going into the season. How do you kind of decompress after a season like that and a reunion like that? <laughs> do you all just like pop open the soiree? And I, just just, feel like- I, I go, <laughs> this is my yeah. known tradition, yes. which everybody knows, I go right to McDonald's. Uh-huh. I leave the reunion. I go to drive yes. through McDonald's. Mm-hmm. I do that. Um, we, a lot of us don't talk. Well, we'll look, I'll talk to my girls on the phone yeah. on the way home. We're like, blah, blah, blah. and then we don't talk for like a week. I like to try and go on a vacation. I just mm-hmm. chill with yeah. my family. I have to lay on the sofa the next day. I don't shower. I stay in my room. It's, a, um, you do have to really decompress. Yeah. It's a, it's emotionally draining. Mm-hmm. I think people don't realize how intense it is. It's, you know, friendships, things run deep. We are all very close, regardless of if we don't get along or whatever it is, we are, we're still a team. Were you optimistic going into the season that maybe Teresa, Melissa, and Joe would eventually get no. on the same page? No, no, not, at no all. not optimistic mm-hmm. at all. Not optimistic no. at all. Did you feel, do you feel like that is completely just, done? yes, yeah, I do. And you know what? And I, um, it's sad. And I really did try mm-hmm. during, uh, last season to, uh, speak to both of them yeah. to, for healing, but it just, it, it's gone too far. Mm-hmm. You know, certain boundaries were crossed that you just can't recover from. How did you feel going into the season about Louie? I don't have any ill will. I just do not want to uh, associate with him or have anything to do with him. Yeah. You all mentioned Dolores. And I love, I love me some Dolores as well. <laughs> Are you all hoping for an engagement for her and Polly? Yes. <laughs> yes. And yes, I'm hoping she gets exactly what she wants. I want her to have her happily ever yeah, after. Yes. Definitely. You know, yeah. She makes Dolores happy. Yeah. Well. Yes. yes. I want her to have her happily ever after. And if that's what she wants. How have you and Joe maintained your relationship during all this crazy highs and lows of this show? Because we see so many marriages and relationships fail. But it seems like you guys get stronger every single yeah. year. <laughs> we are, listen, this year has been rough because, you know, my ex-husband died last right. year, um, which was very hard mm-hmm. on my entire family. I mean, I think a lot of things I don't show. Um, and that was, I think, emotional for all of us. I haven't really mm-hmm. been the same. But it's amazing because we do have such a strong bond. Joe's my, my best friend, and he's a very humble, secure man yeah. that he has to be with me and mm-hmm. let alone these two. <laughs> um, so I'm very grateful. And, you know, we work on it. Mm-hmm. There's, there's therapy, there's deep discussion and, uh, it's work. You know, there have been some news reports that Jennifer and Danielle, there may have been a physical altercation. I know you weren't there. Yeah. Thank God. When it comes to stuff like this, where do you stand when it comes to unacceptable? Mm-hmm. It's like, it's gone too far. And I, and I think, you know, it, it's not necessary. Yeah. We're, we're all grown adults in it. You know, it's, it's not of the climate. It's not acceptable. We're all grown women. Everyone has to be able to control themselves. We've evolved out of that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as a collective, we've all discussed that also. And we said, we're never doing that again. We're never doing that again. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you've evolved in the way that you probably would handle certain oh, situations? Oh, for sure. For- Ever since my hair was pulled, you know, I had thrown a drink that day and because I felt like somebody was in my space, you know, and I was like, that those days are over, yeah. you know, after that happened, I was like, what, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. It's gone too far. I mean, T- Teresa cleared a whole table on me. I didn't retaliate. I didn't do anything back. I have seen, you know, those days are over. 